subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Two candles are lighted up in two different conditions. In normal condition and in a gas jar filled with oxygen. Now watch the video. Pay attention to the size and the color of the flame as well as the melting rate of the candles. Did the candles burn with the same flame size and color? Did the candles melt at the same rate? What can you deduce from this observation? Let's see what happens when sodium thiosulfate reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce sodium chloride, sulfur dioxide, sulfur and water. Sodium thiosulfate reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce sodium chloride, sulfur dioxide, sulfur and water. Based on the information, key in a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. If we change the concentration of sodium thiosulfate, will it affect the rate of precipitation of sulfur? Let's find out. Click the buttons to start the experiment. If we change the concentration of sodium thiosulfate, will it affect the rate of precipitation of sulfur? Let's find out. Click the buttons to start the experiment. Will concentration affect the rate of reaction between 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter of sodium thiosulfate and 2.0 mole per cubic decimeter of hydrochloric acid solutions? Key in your answer and click the submit button when you are done. Click and drag the apparatus and reactants needed onto the table. These are the apparatus and materials needed for this experiment. Watch carefully how the experiment is carried out. Calculate the concentration of diluted sodium thiosulfate solution. These are the times taken for symbol X to disappear from sight. Now, from the data, calculate 1 over time. Now, from the data table, 
plot a graph of concentration of diluted sodium thiosulfate versus time. Transfer the data onto the graph by clicking on the graph to plot. What can you deduce from the shape of the graph? Now, plot a graph of concentration of diluted sodium thiosulfate, mole per decimeter cube, versus 1 over time. This graph has a linear line. The line shows as the concentration of sodium thiosulfate is proportional to 1 over time. As the concentration of sodium thiosulfate solution increases, the rate of reaction increases. Is this hypothesis acceptable? The hypothesis is accepted. This is another experiment showing the effect of concentration on rate of reaction. Key in the chemical equation for this reaction. Let's watch the animation. Click the play button. Based on the animation, answer these questions. Key in your answer How does concentration of a reactant affect the rate of a reaction? Let's find out. In this reaction, marble chips react with different concentration of hydrochloric acid and generates carbon dioxide. Let's take a close-up look into these beakers and try to understand the effect of concentration on rate of reaction. Now, click on Beaker A. What happens if we increase the concentration of hydrochloric acid? Click on Beaker B. When the concentration of hydrochloric acid is increased, more particles are present, which increases the probability of collisions between hydrochloric acid particles and the surface of marble chips. This will increase the rate of reaction. What will happen if the mass of marble chips are increased instead?
In this lesson, we have learned that when the concentration of a reactant solution is increased, the number of particles increases. More particles increase the chance of more collision between particles, thus increase the rate of reaction. When the concentration of a reactant solution is decreased, the number of particles decreases. Less particles decrease the number of collision between particles, thus decrease the rate of reaction. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.